Hey guys, it's Kiwi Sylveon, and we are back with Dragon Age Origins. And I forgot about how much it lags when I got like 50 million things up. So give me a quick moment. Okay. That should take care of everything except for this little thing. Okay, that should work now. Oh yeah. Anyway, in the last episode we got here to Orzammar, my probably my favorite areas next to actual Whoa, my leg. Yeah, let's see. What did we do in the last part? I mean beside getting here. Oh yeah, we finished there's a Linda's wool. I'm lucky that my new headset probably didn't catch my little exhale there, so it all depends. But it's so nice to be able to record and not have to worry about my radio or the fan going or anything. Now, I didn't plan to record anything today, but since one of my plans were dropped or apparently due to weather that we're having right now, I kind of got free time now, considering I don't so work. So the closer you live to the surface, the higher class you are. Unless you're actually on the surface. Correct, Alistair. Anyway, before Alistair interrupted, it's like, there's storms up where I am now. Well, not so serious as I can't drive, but, I mean, I can drive, but point is there. I didn't want to risk driving down just to get hit by, like, I don't know, a random thunderstorm or anything like that. Now, I don't know about you guys, the but... of the dead warriors secretly wear Prince Balin's colors. Our prince has Orzammar's deadliest warriors behind him. Do you mind? I hate the colors. They're just like, hey, hear this, hear me. But... I forgot what I was going to say. Run into a random thunderstorm, I believe, and not have anything to do, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad, yeah. There's, I think, a few quests in the... What's this place? The uh, Shaper It. That's what it's called. I knew it! I just didn't at the same time. Yeah, there are a few. There's this guy who. Hey, who would pardon? I'm outraged. A thief in the shape of What have we been reduced to? Did you get a look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Hmm. And I don't have my recorder, my timer up. Yay me. Now this Orda, she is, I, she's Poem, interesting. Me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Sounds important. Wait, what kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last flight. I just there love it. Many records the, 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 left. Their they eyes are so noble housewife, colorful. Descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. Uh. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the tide fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the tide's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not afraid of the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Tyg, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Tyg in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a no- If you could. Yay. I forget who I all have. I'm... 
been a while since I last played because I've been so busy working. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Well, the memories. Oh my god, everything's so pretty! Uh, give me a moment and I will find out what's going on. Okay. Apparently I have to finish up this recording session like after a little bit because apparently everybody wants to go out to um, go out shopping and stuff. I knew there were books. Jaya loves this place. I can just see her just staying in here forever because she just loves books so for her not to be like near books is like le gasp I'm not by books I think I mentioned that she's somewhat of a bookworm but not quite so bookwormish that she's like I don't know ridiculously weak as you can tell <laughs> For any others? Nope. Off we go! So in about 20 minutes I'll be ending this, so this might be a short episode, depends. I don't remember when I started. I'm trying to adjust my headset a little bit. But it's so nice to just relax. I mean, for game-wise. I'm just turning up the game audio, see if that makes a difference. Hello? Okay, yay, the annoying it is back in my ear, so... It shall be done. And here I thought I had it all done. Let's see what happens if I do that. Oh well, I have to get used to the annoying in my ear. It's like me. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host you. I am Vartag Devorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? This treaty obliges Orzammar to send troops to the surface. Ah, ancient documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Ithnar Bimo, paragon and king. That was 16 generations. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king sadly lacking one of those right now. Is there some way I could help? My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramon from the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. What do I need to do? Haramon promised the same portion of his estate to two different deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Oh, excuse me, two assembly members. Desher is their formal title. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. I'll find Lady Dace and Lord Helmy right now. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them who got these papers. Okay. I just I don't know why, but as you say, after seeing what I played it, like I think three years ago or four years ago or something, when I first beat the game, when I went with Haramont, thinking, "Oh, he's so righteous, he's going to do right, and all this fun stuff." I'm going to ignore Gor. I'm not right there. And when I beat the game, and this is the royal palace, then. Mm. What treasures could lie within? Zevran, no treasures. News of the hour. Lord Haramont's insinuations against Lord Bale <sighs> reveal the truth. I hate these cars. Cause of King Edward's death? Shocking allegation. Anyway, and when the slide came up about Orzammar, it was shocking to see, like, that he turned into, like, opposite of what he planned, or what... Do you what want? He said. Oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. I'll continue after this. Are you Lady Dace? I am. And what business would you have with me? 
Paramount is trying to cheat you. An interesting accusation. But to cheat me, wouldn't Harrowmont and I need to be in business? You might want to look at these papers. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? <laughs> Never mind. It is true enough. There's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Where is he? I'll bring he these to He is leading him. a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient tig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. How would I know where to find your father? He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? Yes, I'll leave right now. So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. Anyhow, what I was saying about, um... Um, Haramont is... He turned into the tyrant. Like... He claims that, oh, Balin's going to be a tyrant. He'll drive our people into the ground or something like that. And... Little did we know that he would actually be the one to turn into the tyrant. In fact, in one slide, spoiler, I guess, but he actually dies suspiciously and nobody knows why, but it's probably due to stuff. <gasps> Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Aubrey. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, you're stripped of your caste and exile. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Hmm. That's probably my favorite person right there. Can you believe it? Albert's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Who is Ogren? Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. What do you mean gelded him? Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. Who, who is Bronca? The only paragon of the last four generations. Quite an honor for a girl from the Smith cast. How did she become a paragon? She invented a smokeless fuel that let the Smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Deaths from the Black Lung also dropped. The assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. Bronca is married to the drunk? Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith. And Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. Why did Bronca go into the deep roads? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. Said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. What were you uh, inaugurating about? It's Did been two that? years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Why does Algren care so much about Bronca? <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? 
Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Is that what you two were arguing about, Bronca? It fit the search teams who went out hm. I have to look at who I got. Oh yeah, I got Gilmore. <laughs> of all the They need more again. Indeed. Indeed. I forgot about Gilmore back there. Or Roland. Rory. Whoever you want to call. Yay. Now if I remember right. <sighs> yeah. Here we go. That's why I go with Balin, because at first you may I'll think that all the rumors are true that he killed his brother. Which, if you play the noble dwarf cast, you'll pretty much get the gist that it is true that he killed Trian and forced himself to, I don't know, do stuff. Ooh! What's going on? I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine what you mean. I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens, that no one decides to just burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. Tell Jarvia I'll get her money. I... Jarvia's not happy with your promises on Let's go inside and see what you have been holding back. Well, Jaya would just darsh it, darsh, dash right in. Not Karen. She'd have guns blazing, figuratively speaking. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours. Is there a problem here, friend? <laughs> Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. For I can't say what might happen. Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Goodbye. Figure! Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. What do you know about the Starvia? I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. What do you have for sale? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. Get that away. Let's go away. Hard to tell that. Ah, there we go. I like to stock up. Because you never know. I might magically die again. I don't think I've died, technically. I don't remember. Let's see, what could I sell you? <clears throat> 
sense a gift. Um. Uh, let's see. I could tell you this. And this. Um. That's good. I shall do it. Okay, I am going to leave and probably end it off there because I have to go. When I get back, I will probably upload another two episodes. Upload. Record another two episodes. So, first, let me get a quick banter going on. So, tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. Ooh. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you don't. No. You really don't. Anyway. Um, I hope. No, 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 no. I just said. Uh... I forgot that you is the click load. At least I know that I'm doing that right. Anyway, I'll get off screen and go back to where I was. But I got what I accomplished. Oh, what do you know? I didn't go far. <laughs> I forgot that the instant you leave a building, you. Let's see if it's a different conversation. You never know. Your mother is supposedly the one called Flemeth, the very witch from legend. Is that not true? There is nothing supposed about it. Flemeth is my mother. Hmm. Now it's more doubtful of the legend rather than your relationship to this woman. Anyone can claim a name after all. You're welcome to ask her if you ever meet her. You're just her type. Oh, elven and handsome. <laughs> the sort that will never be missed. Sounds intriguing, if you ask me. You assassin types have a death wish, I see. <laughs> Only the really good ones. No, I have to... No. I have to see what my quick save is again. Well, I have to save, of course. Go here. Look at all that. Say it bad. Just be safe, but I could save. Quick save, quick save, where are you? Your wife? Okay. There. Now that I double saved, I will leave it off here. I know it's a short episode, but I need to go get some stuff. And I will see you all in the next episode when I get back. And remember to like, comment, subscribe. And if you like, you'll have a fabulous day.